it's Judy Clock at Stampin' with Crafty Clock. Thanks so much for stopping by my YouTube channel to check out my latest video. I hope that you like what I have in store for you. Ready? Let's go. Hey Stampin' Friends, it's Judy Clock here at Stampin' with Crafty Clock. Hopping on just a little bit late. I got distracted by something in my craft room. You know, you go to do one thing and you find something else and you get off track. Anyway, thanks for being here tonight. Um, today, I'm going to work with our fun little zany zebras stamp set. This is the, the set I am featuring in my March class to go. Um, it's oh, Registration is open now. It closes on March 9th. So you're going to want to hurry and get this because I think you're really going to like the cards we're working on today. So we're doing two really quick birthday cards, but we're going to do a little bit of coloring with our watercolor pencils. And we're going to add some fun elements to one of them. And we're going to do some fussy cut cutting, which I hate, but I'm going to do it tonight. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's get started with um, these cute little zebras first. We're going to bring up, we have our Bermuda Bay that is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. And we're going to work with our cards in landscape mode today. They're both going to be landscape. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a piece of basic white on the inside that is four by five and quarter. Hey, Dana. And the only ink pad we're going to use tonight is our Memento Tuxedo Black. So that's what I love about this particular set and this particular class is that it's really basic. It's one stamp pad. It's just some adding some color with our watercolor pencils or if you choose, you can add them with your stamp and write markers, but it's just a very easy set to play with. So we're going to put our happy birthday on the inside. And these are red rubber clings. So I don't need to have my stamp and pierce mat. And I'm just going to add, I have some little stars here. I'm going to add some little stars right around there. Now these are kind of small. So if you want to color these, you can either use your watercolor pencil or I'm going to use our little stamp and write marker and I'm just going to add just the teeniest bit of color to these little stars. And it's just going to add just a little tiny bit of color to the inside of this card. Okay, there we go. A little bit more there. All right, so there we have that. Now we're ready to go ahead and put this on our inside. And remember, I always like to do my stamping before I adhere it because if I make a mistake, I can flip over my paper. <coughs> Excuse me, I gotta grab some water. Bear with me for one second, folks. Choking. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so now on the front, I have a piece of Granny Apple Green that is four by five and a quarter. And then I have a piece of our Oso oh Ombre paper. And this is one of our free celebration items. If you haven't gotten this yet, you're gonna want it. And it's free with the $50 purchase. And we're going to layer these up. So let's go ahead and put our Oso oh Ombre right over that granny apple green. And this is really simple. I didn't use really other than Wink of Stella, I really haven't used any embellishments, no ribbons, no gems. Um, I really am just sort of keeping this simple with just, hey Patricia, with just the the stamps and the, the paper. So this is kind of a, you know, little bit of simple stamping really because we're not really doing anything that's going to be so, so crazy. All right, I do need a piece of, here we go need a piece of scrap paper because I am going to stamp off just the teeniest bit. So we have our little jumping, what I call our little jumping zebra. I'm going to ink him up. And the first one I'm going to stamp, his, his back legs are actually going to be off. Okay, and we're going to stamp him like leaping for joy because he's so happy. And again, our next guy is going to be a little bit off. So that's kind of our series of three zebras. They're all just kind, kind of leaping around for joy. And then we're going to stamp um, our Kick Up Your Heels. If I can find my Kick Up Your Heels. Hmm. <laughs> Did I put that back in there? 
I did. I put it back in my box. I thought I had it out. Okay. So I'm going to share that with my happy birthday. I'm just going to stick that right there. Kick up your heels. Now we want to give our zebra a little bit of fun. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to give him a party hat. Because, you know, you got to have a party hat, right? So we're going to give him a party hat. We'll give him a party hat there. This guy's going to get a partial party hat. And this guy, we're just going to see the Everest little bit of a party hat. And again, you can get more or less of those party hats on there depending upon how you stamp your zebras. So now I'm going to use my watercolor pencils. I'm going to color the little dots in with crushed curry. I'm going to make them yellow. Okay. So this goes pretty quick. They're just they're little tiny areas to color. There's we're not adding a ton of color, but we are just adding a little bit. I'm going to color one hat in pink. Let's do this one right here. Okay. All right, we got that one. Let's do this little one in green. We got a little bit over here. You can do some of the pom-pom and add that little pop of color right there. And we'll do this one in blue. Okay, and this is the balmy blue from that. Um, I think it's the assorted uh, colored pencils number two. Okay, there we go. And now we're just going to go ahead and pop that right up on our card front with our dimensionals. And that is it. So like I said, this really is simple stamping at its best. Now, the designs for my March class are going to be a little bit more involved. They'll have a little bit more to them. Um, so I hope you'll consider signing up. I think you'll have a fun time. We always have a, a fun Zoom. Oh, and one more thing I wanted to do. Okay, so that fits perfectly because that is five by three. So that fits perfectly right there. And then I'm going to take the littlest tiny bit of Wink of Stella and we are just going to give our little zebras... A little bit of sparkle. I'm into the sparkle lately. I like giving everything sparkly. Because why not? So this is about as, um, I guess, crazy as I'm going to get. Is just throwing a little bit of this Wink of Stella on these little guys. Just to make them shimmer and shine. There's not a lot. Again, I don't really consider Wink of Stella an embellishment like I would a ribbon or um, gems or something along those lines. But, you know, it's... Still a fun little element to add to your cards. I don't know if you can sort of see. Are they shimmering and shining for you? Can you see that? Okay, so that is card number one. And don't forget, I, I still have to do the raffle from last week. But again, I will raffle off last week's card and we'll do this week's card too. So we'll have two winners that I'll announce. So here we have our next card. I have my Blackberry Bliss. I've kind of been in a Blackberry Bliss kind of mood lately. I just love it. And again, it's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I'm going to go ahead and put my inside, and I am going to stamp my happy birthday again. And we're going to give this little happy birthday a little hat. We gave the other one some stars. We're just going to hang a little hat right there on our H. And again, I want to color this, so I'm going to color this one again pink. I'm going to add some pink. I believe this is Flirty Flamingo. Yep, this is the Flirty Flamingo. And if you haven't played with our watercolor pencils, I would encourage you to do so. They're great for adding little tiny bits of color um, to, your, to your work without having, you know, you don't, sometimes people don't like working with the blends because they feel like, they're not going to get good coverage. And then if you want, sometimes I like to go over this with a blender brush and just kind of smooth out those pencil lines. And it really makes it look like more like a watercolor then. We'll just put that over there. And you all know that when you want to like clean your pen, you just kind of rub it on paper until all the color comes off and then you're good to go. Love our blending pens and our watercolor pencils. Add some color to that little pom-pom there. There we go. All right, now we're ready to go ahead and put this on the inside of our card. Okay. And I don't know why I turn it this way. I, I, I just, I do. I don't know why. That works for me, though. Do whatever works for you. 
Now I just, I'm keeping this again really simple. I have a piece of our basic white, five and a quarter by four. Another piece of that gorgeous Oso oh Ombre paper that is five by three and three quarters. And we're just going to layer them up. Um, as many of you who watch me know, all of my layers are always a quarter of an inch shorter on each side as I go from bottom to top. Um, some people do, you know, one eighth. Some people do a half. I do a quarter. That's just the way I like it. But again, your cards, your creations, you can do whatever you like to do. That is the beauty of card making, is that you can take a basic layout and then just make it your own. All right, I've cut out with our nested labels dies, a piece in our basic white, and we're going to stamp our little guy over here. I think these little zebras are just so cute. I really do like them. And I'm gonna give him, we're gonna give him two little sentiments. We're going to give him wild about you. And then we're going to say, you party animal. So we're wild about you, you party animal. And then again, I'm gonna go ahead and give him a couple of little stars. And again, I just kind of stamp these randomly. I kind of twist them a little bit. Oh no, well, that's okay. We'll just color those in anyway. All right, so I'm gonna think, I'm gonna let that dry just for a minute. And I'm gonna, again, take my little watercolor pencil and I'm gonna quickly just add just a little bit of color to my stars. So I'm not adding a whole bunch of color, but I am adding just a little bit of color, just so we don't have so much black and white, just a little tiny bit of color there. Now we're gonna, again, put him on with some dimensionals. Now, here's what else we wanna do. We want to grab a piece of basic white. Bear with me for a minute, let me get this guy on there. Okay, so now we've got that. So now let's take another piece of our basic white. I had it right over here. And of course, I just took my sweatshirt off and laid it right on top of it. And I'm going to stamp our little guy who's kicking up heels again, okay? Put him right there, because we're gonna fussy cut him. So we're gonna take our paper snips and we're going to fussy cut him. I won't bore you and fussy cut him on camera. Oh, and I also gave him a little um, a little party hat. So again, I'm going to color our party hat. I think this time I'll color it uh, green with some blue polka dots. Okay, just gonna give it some color. Remember I said we were gonna add a fun little element to the inside of our card. Hmm, it's coming. So I don't know if you saw my live at lunch this week, but I did a wobble card. I'm kind of into wobble cards now. So I bought these little plastic springs on Amazon. I don't know, it was like 48 for like seven bucks or something. And these are the half an inch ones, I think. So I'm going to hopefully peel this off. I'm gonna stick this on the back of my little zebra. And then I'm going to take these, this paper off this back, maybe, if I can get it off. It was so much easier when I made my sample because it wasn't on camera with everybody watching me. Okay, not that there's everybody watching me, but there's some of you watching me. <laughs> I hope everybody's having a good night tonight. I am always such a hot mess, but we try, right? I mean, if nothing else, we try. Good for a laugh. And we are just going to add him right there. So when you open up the card, it's not really a pop out, but you got this cute little guy there that's going to wibble and wobble. So I just thought that was kind of a fun little surprise that you might not be expecting. And again, we can go back and we can give him some um, uh, Winker Stella if we want. But that's it for me tonight, folks. This was just a quick little one. Um, I hope that you like these and I hope that you enjoyed this kind of little quick glimpse into what my um, March class will be. We have a couple of more designs here. We have that one, that one was cased sort of from the um, annual cat catalog or the beginner catalog. 
We have another one here, and I just love this oh so ombre. So these are just some of the designs that I'm thinking about.